Okay, the purpose of this video is to discuss the price time anomaly. It's been a lot of debate and discussion. I've gotten a lot of questions, uh, even on, on the radio show. Is um, when do you think X, Y, and Z is going to happen? What's your timeline? When is the market gonna collapse? When is the uh, the, the social system gonna see unrest? When is um, when is the economy gonna collapse? All these wins, you know, everybody wants to know the future, or at least get some sort of a heads up as to what they can expect, and and a and a reasonable timeline for when these things will occur. Well, there have been many attempts made to do that. Uh, in all my years in the markets and working on Wall Street, I can tell you when I first started, I started out as a broker. And I can tell you that I've seen all types of trading ideas and systems and algorithms. I've seen people trade based on planet, planetary alignments and astrology and astronomy and tea leaves and voodoo, magic, you name it. Um, there are millions of systems out there, thousands of indicators and new indicators coming out every month. There's just so much going on. But that's not the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is to explain to you the difficulties in projections and predicting okay predictions are difficult um, ask ask the guys over at webbot they'll tell you okay see the difference between what I'm going to discuss here and like the webbot project is that webbot takes uh, assembles information based on conversations uh, over the internet okay based on communications people's thought processes and patterns and it tries to look at political events and things like that what I do my algorithm is is different now I know webbot started uh, their whole thing trying to you know pick stocks and stuff but you see what I do is totally different what I've incorporated here what, what Pandora is Pandora tells tells you when certain things come into alignment in the market it's able to tell you under bearish conditions and under extremely bullish conditions what you can expect all things being equal if things remain on a certain course of pattern all right so in other words it, it projects down the road it can see down the road and tell you drawing things out to their logical conclusions all right, when you draw things out to the logical conclusions, it gives you a result. All right, now what you're looking at here in front of you is I'm going to illustrate some examples for you. Okay, what you have here is an example showing you how this works. Now, this is the SP 500. Okay, what you're looking at is a chart of 2001 this bar right here represents August the 27th of 2001 it represents the week that I got my clients short in the market not because I knew that 9-11 was going to occur not because I thought a terrorist attack was going to occur but simply because what look down here you see this right here it says bearish from August on through October the market was bearish it was bearish before 9-11 it was bearish on August the 27th of 2001 so I got my customers loaded up on S&P 500 put options and Dow put options up the wazoo I could actually title this video how to quadruple your account in two weeks now so that you can really get the gist of what I'm telling you on August the 27th of 2001 all right you would have seen a Volcker report 
reading a little something like this. All right. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. So let me just try to see. I don't, I don't know how it's going to come out. Um, so we'll play around and see. But this is a little, the words and stuff I'm sure are very tiny. You probably can't see. But here's the date here, August 27, 2001, okay, and you can see that here, it, 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 it was Monday 2001, okay, you can see here that based on Monday's price action, all right, you see what the, what the S&P would have did, the prices closed lower than they opened, all right, you see the post scan reading that you got on that day, negative 23.48. Um, here's your here's your momentum reading. It shows you that currently the trend is very bearish under heavy distribution. The downtrend is still in tab of prices holding below the trend line resistance of 1,305.60. And then on down here, you see it says trend strength weak and range bound it breaks that down for you you can read that then you see here this is where it gets interesting when we get down to here all right it says the long-term trend line resistance is was currently at 1305.60 trend line support was at 1081.18 right bear market downtrend 12 to 18 month price target what does it say it says 632.36 all things being equal it gave you a 12 to 18 month price target of 632.36 on the S&P 500 that's why we loaded up on put options below that we got a bear market plunge protection team circuit breaker alert now deflated bubble phase 1 12 24 to 36 month outlook price destruction target was 183.54. That would have put uh, the market back to 1980 prices. All right, 1980 prices. Now, you may say, well, how do you know? How can you say that, right? Well, then you see here what happened on 9/11. This bar right here is. September the 10th of 2001, right? And then you can see the week after the market uh, resumed, it resumed on 9-17. There is no data for 9-11 because that data was busted by all the exchanges. So 9-11 doesn't exist. You can't find data for 9-11 because it doesn't exist. If they showed you the data, the data for 9-11, there would already be total anarchy and rioting in the streets. Because then they would have to show you that America was absolutely insolvent and bankrupt on 9-11. That everything went to zero. The dollar went to zero. Stocks went to zero before they closed the exchanges. And gold became priceless. It was more than $10,000 an ounce. Gold and silver was priceless. You couldn't price it. It was way off the charts. Anyway, as you can see here, as we move forward now, we will see exactly where prices went. Uh, within the next 12 to 18 months. So let's just take a look. You see prices rebounded off of that um, uh, that, that, that level. Let me move this back over here because you can't see it. I just realized you couldn't see it. So here we go. Now you should be able to see it. All right. Prices rebounded off the, uh, off the, the low. You see we're now back above um, 1100 in the S&P. Topped out around 1180 right here. Uh, now here comes prices coming back down again. Isn't that interesting? Let's see. Let's see where prices go. Now remember, August 27th, Toad gave you a price target of 632. Well, let's see where do we go. On this date here, which is July the 24th of 2002, we actually hit a low of 775.68. Well, that's about a hundred and something points away, right? Pretty close. That's that. That's what usually happens. Sometimes you overshoot the price target. Sometimes you get close to the price target. Same thing with the time frame. Sometimes 
time frames can be sped up or you can actually shoot beyond a price target. But nevertheless, the overall gist of what is predicted will come to pass. So you can rest assured of that, okay? All right, now let's um, let's move to something more recent. Let's uh, take a look at what happened on, uh, let's see, this was October the 10th of 2002. We hit a low of 768.63. And then from this point on, the market rallies for, you know, a couple of years, basically, just, you know, we just rally. But I'm going to speed up now. I'm going to take you to uh, 2008 because you need to see what I'm talking about as far as price time continuings and the anomalies that can occur within that process, those processes. So let's take a look at that. I'm doing this in real time. I'm not stopping the video. I just want you to see it as I'm doing it. So, all right, here we are. We're in 08 now. Let's get up to like August of 08 so you can have an idea of what I'm talking about. All right, here's the top right here. This is this is uh, May of 08. You can see these prices just all over the place. That's how the markets do. And I'm sure while these markets were falling, there was someone out here still buying. All right, here we go. August of 08, right? Now, if you go back just a little bit here, let's see. All right, right here, we're bearish, right? And let's put, let's go ahead and put, we'll put a notation right here. And then we'll take a look at it in our readings right there. See what we'll come up with. It's going to take a minute as you see it's spinning. I'm doing this all in real 